Two more loads. <sighs> Ultimate bike studio build part one of how many parts are there gonna be? One, possibly two. <laughs> We haven't decided yet. In order to start making videos in here as soon as possible, we need to get the workshop area of this new studio built as soon as we can. So, we're gonna spend the first part of today unpacking boxes, which leads me to the first announcement of the day. In order to make the videos that we want to on this channel, we need a proper, fully kitted out bike workshop. Thankfully, the guys at Park Tool and Madison they're the distributor in the UK for Park Tool, Shimano, a bunch of other stuff. Have gone halvesies and uh, given us all this stuff, which is amazing. So thanks, Park Tool. It's like Christmas. What do you reckon's in here? Here you go, Jimmy, this is for you. <laughs> Everyone knows you are the... Nah, Jimmy Jobs. You're the bike king. These are, Jim, these are Jimmy Jobs. This is stuff that's exciting to you and Nick. What do you mean you're not excited by the OTH-1? <laughs> Do you think Nick actually knows what that is, just off the code? Definitely. <laughs> he speaks like that. You can't even open the box. Exactly. <laughs> Why is it so weird? Only mechanics can open it. Well, open that up then. Oh, see so if I can just rip it here. So yeah, okay, good. How much stuff is actually here? Because there's a lot of boxes. Uh, a lot. All right. <laughs> These, quite nice actually. Units have been in the videos before. These are actually barbecue units from IKEA called Grill Scar. They're stainless steel, made for being outside, so you're not gonna mess them up too much. And they all join together and look very nice. That's what we're using for now here. Could change. How many more have you got? That's it. Sorry, Jimmy. <laughs> These are wall control pegboards. You use them for pegging stuff to walls. Is this the sort of stuff you see in like shops and things? And you what? Hang these little doobie bots on them. I bought these. And I also bought these off Amazon, which are just temporary, less good pegboard hooks that are cheaper, so we can get all the tools in the right place. And then, if we want to upgrade later, you can buy the proper wall control ones, which are a lot more expensive, but more secure and just work better. These ones, luckily you can still use them with normal, like Amazon ones. I don't think we need to replace these, they're wicked. They were great. They rattle for you. Glue, glue gun? Glue gun. That, that rattle was because I'm just holding it to the wall rather than it being attached to the wall. That was why it was rattling. I've always wanted to learn how to chew wheels. Now you can. As if you've got a wheel chewing stand, like a professional grade one. We have, Jimmy. Oh, Jesus. I can, I, I can build wheels. Well, I say that. At one point, I can build wheels. The man who um, taught me how to build wheels said, you have to go home and build in the next two weeks at least two wheels. Otherwise you'll forget it forever. And obviously I didn't go home and do it, so I've forgotten it forever. <laughs> I'm very excited about this, and I've actually just realised I put my knife through a bit of it. <laughs> All the little boop, 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 boop. But it now has, can you see that line? You've, you've, you've ruined it. I think we're going to need to call in a professional. I need your help. Yeah? What do you need? Help. I'm now in a car with Nick and one million oh, pegs. Hopefully we've got enough. Can you imagine? Well, if you just we put half the tools up and there's not enough. How many days do we have to compete? There's more! I'm just gonna come every day and swap one of my old ones with one of your new ones without you knowing until I've got a new set. This is Nick, he's gonna be uh, helping us with some bike builds going forwards and this, you're gonna be doing a lot of them. Uh, we thought we'd... Oh, is that, how that, is that what that's for? No, the suit set's for Jimmy. It's Jimmy's tool. We're gonna bring our drinks. <laughs> We're gonna get him to set up the tool wall because he's done it multiple times before. Let's get it right the first time. Oh, instead yeah, of me and Jimmy muddling our way through it and oh, then no. putting things in the wrong place and then you'll be cross at us. Normal people, like myself, Start with a few tools and then get more and more as you go because where you've just gone. This is a quite a unique. Everything in one go. Mm -hmm. Meaning, my tool, I've had nine so far. But I mean, this is probably the easiest way to do it because it's all just in one go. This is like a dream for you. Half the tool, yeah. I mean. You're acting like um, you're excited. You've been so excited <laughs> on camera. Just everything. Have you seen this 
size of this thing? Like, are we doing fat bikes in here? We're prepared for everything, Nick. What the hell is this? My Poxel one's like half the size. Oh, that's mint. I want one of these. I want one of these. Look at that. I thought you were going to get a professional. That's not a wall. the worst game I've ever played. Is it horrible? Is that one different to that? Yeah. yeah. What's that one for? It's a ring. You, you put it the other way and then you punch someone. Mm, like a knuckle duster. Oh, it looks like a bull, doesn't it? Oh, you okay? <laughs> Today I'm going to show you how to do this custom tool board. Whether it's your first time here, or even if you've been here before, lock it. It's nice to see we've completed one fifth of our project in the last five hours. I've completed one fifth of the project. How many tools have you put on the wall here today, Tony? I mean, punch <laughs> 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 Tony. Tony, <laughs> I'm seeing a pizza, Tony. <laughs> I feel like in the video that we did previously, the last upload, we didn't explain exactly what was going to be changing with this channel. We just said there's a rebrand, Jimmy's joining. In terms of videos, what is changing? Some stuff is, some stuff isn't. Excellent. So, so, so that'll be cleared that up, Jimmy. Thanks. <laughs> the one which is definitely not changing at all is you are still going to be going and doing your trips all around the world and bike packing and all the stupid stuff you do on those trips. Oh, phew, okay. Like that's, that's not changing, go away Nick. In addition to that, we are gonna continue making the videos that we've already been doing together. So in the studio, i.e. why we now have an even better one. Uh, I don't, it's not really reviewing, it's more showcasing products that are out there, isn't it really, and comparing things. I really like the one we did the other day, bike versus bike, two different price points. That kind of video is very hard to execute when you're just one person, which is why I haven't really done any before. Now there's two of us, we can do bigger scale projects, stuff that's gonna cost more money or uh, involves more planning. Um, having two brains working at that kind of stuff really does make a big difference. Brains. Brains. We also wanna add some new style of content as well. So we wanna start looking at like, uh, not, I guess, kind of like new stuff. Um, like, what's new? What new technology is coming out in cycling? What new products are coming out? And actually kind of showing you guys what's out there, what's new, what's happening to it. I've got something cool over there. What is it? It's a plug-in. I'm not going to say, but it plugs in. Why do I know about these things? You don't tell me anything. Oh, surprise. <laughs> it is nearly 9 p.m. We've been here a long time, but we've been very productive, I think. Most of the tool world is done. It's in a state of being usable. There is gonna be an extended bit on the right hand side where we're gonna put power tools, extra stuff that we still have lying on the floor, but we just don't have time to finish it now before tomorrow's bike build. I wanted to finish today's video with a question to Nick. Shit. Out of all of this stuff that we've got here, which five tools would you recommend someone bought if they were gonna to buy tools for DIY bike okay. maintenance? Number one, most important, the Park Tool AWS 10. Don't buy any other brand. Just get that one for at home. Best multi-tool in the world. Number two most important tool, CC2 chain checker. Because your chain wears out, you decide to throw in your chain rings and your cassette. So catch it early, it'll save you a ton of money. Third most important tool for home mechanics would be torque wrench. This one works from, I think it's, yeah, 4.5 up to six Newton meters. It's what you need for most handlebars, stems. You can get away Quite a lot of seat, but some of them go up to seven, but it's just, it's a good tool to have. Why would you want one of those? So that you don't over tighten bolts. And Destroy your bike, yeah, explode the bike, exactly. Good quality side cutters. These ones all, if you want the lottery, no picks. And then, ah, yes. You've got disc brakes, one of these. Every now and then it's worthwhile taking your wheels out, pushing your pistons back and making sure they're both moving equally. Because we see quite a lot of bikes coming in where it's just the one piston moving. One gets stuck and then it's just one side of the pad wearing out. Where if you loosen them off every few times, also if you were to take the wheel out, accidentally press the brakes. You can use a tie lever, it's clean, but that just works better. I think you're wrong, Nick. I think the most important tool for a home mechanic is, is this, the Park Tools HBH3. Which does what? We'll do a whole separate video on this tool and how important it is to all home bike mechanics. What does it do? <laughs> there you go. Bike Shop Man's recommendations. Not sponsored by Park Tool, but kind of sponsored by Park Tool. Well, he's not. He's not. Yeah.